What is up, everybody? Well, I'm just as happy as a pig stuck in mud right now because uh, you're looking at the new engine well, and the new axle for the bare metal cart. I got super lucky today and I found this on Facebook Marketplace for $25. Fully operational pressure washer. And by coincidence, that's what that was from, a pressure washer. But that's six and a half on this one, six, seven, five on this. You know, I don't know what the uh, quarter of a horsepower will even make a difference or even if there is such a thing in these things, but you know, I'll take it. Oops, that's fine. Uh, Manhattan ran in a year and a half. They said that the last time the, uh, the you know, it came from a really nice, really nice place. And uh, they used it to pressure wash their driveway. So, um, I got it home here a few minutes ago and I put some gas in it, choked it, and it fired up first pull. So, we got a wiener. And I'm going to strip this thing off and we're going to put it on that cart. But first, I got to get this pump off the back of it and then get it off of the uh, frame that's currently on. So let's let's get busy doing that. It is hot out here, fellas. And I am kidding. So first I gotta take off these four bolts right there. They go over top of the input shaft on this. So let me get busy doing that. Yeah, that usually gets around. Break loose pretty good. Yeah! Hold on. So a pretty nice little rig here. I hate to tear it apart, but you know, it's current configuration I just don't need. Got a pressure washer. It's an electric one, but it's still a pressure washer. It washes pressurized like and all. Well, this one would be what you wish. Well, come loose already. Well, I tell you, fellas, I don't know where you're from, but here in Indiana, it's hot. And I'm talking about hot, like 90s Pamela Anderson hot, okay? We're halfway there, fellas, to get the uh, pressure washer pump off of it anyways. Okay. I'm going to slide this off the input shaft. Yeah, just like a that. Presto changeo. We now have a go-kart engine. 5-8 shaft, I believe. Or 3 quarters inch shaft, let me see. And grab me a clutch right past two hers. He he's fit. Oh, fellas. We got some nice long key. Bam. Little tip of meditation here, built fellas. You want to put some Loctite on these things. 
Let me tell you, fellas, they will come loose, and that's when I snapped my axle from the drift drag. It came loose, it pulled up at an angle, and it ripped my axle right in half. Of course, it was a little axle, but still, damage was done at that point. Okay, this is what we got. A big ass freaking murder. Going to have to get me a header. Go kart header when it comes up and goes out. Or maybe even when it goes down. Or at least out to the side, because that's just that's not gonna work in that way because it's both straight on the rider. Otherwise, oh yeah. Disc brakes. Hydraulic disc brakes nonetheless. Axle sitting down there mocked up. I'm gonna replace them. I got the heavier duty pillow bearings coming for that. I don't want to use those little thin ones. Boy, I tell you what, she just barely fits on there. The axle will be right up in here. Tucked away. Oh, yeah. She's coming along. You can see I got the master cylinder caliper. I gotta make some braces for this, which I'll probably do tomorrow. It's too damn hot today. And uh, we'll get the rear end mounted. Meanwhile, I'm searching for a solution to the exhaust blowing straight back in our faces, which shouldn't be no big deal. If I have to, I'll make something. So that's where we're at, boys. Basically seven horses on demand. <laughs> Loving it. Let me know how you guys feel about this building direction we're going in now. Bleep bloop down in the comment section down below. And we will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, fellas.